zemlja, nebo i zemlja, meni to že sluju. Here, where my ancestors lie, is where I grew up. The tiny Ukrainian community of Stry, about 200 kilometers northeast of Edmonton. Once a month, I'd walk the dusty quarter mile of road to attend Mass at the Catholic Church. Like generations before us, we do a lot of things together. We celebrate births and marriages and grieve together at funerals. One of the most rewarding experiences for me is caroling. It's the one time of year when we can go as a group to share the old traditions of the holiday with friends, family and neighbours. This year, I thought I'd get behind the camera and turn the lens on this bunch of operatic hopefuls. In Bethlehem, the city of David, Jesus was born and laid in a manger. Our caroling got off to a rocky start with an unexpected hiccup. Bob, my husband, had to go to stoke up the, the furnace to get the church nice and toasty warm for the caroler. And lo and behold, he found out the furnace is not kicking in, it's not working. Yes, and my first uh, uh, assumption was the motor wasn't working. And I was right. But You're anyway. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Good so here we are today, three star And, and Karen, Karen, <laughs> Karen, we didn't blow up the church. That's, See? Thank goodness. Yeah. Well, this is where memories come. Because when everything goes well, it soon gets forgotten. But That's when you're true. That's right. Yeah and you're, you can see your breath and everything else <laughs> yeah. and freezing, you'll remember this one. Yeah, that's right. I think that's we right, will. Yeah. Be nice to see the people at the lodge there. Right, Charlie? Yes. Seems like the older people, they appreciate the caroling a lot more. Yes. I mean, everybody does, but especially the senior people. It re reminds them of their younger years. Yes, yes. And when they used to carol, Celebrate, Happy times. Yep, celebrate the season. After the hectic season of Christmas is over, on Boxing Day, we go caroling. Because we also celebrate Ukrainian Christmas in the Julian calendar, which comes on January the 6th. It's a bittersweet time, visiting the folks in the seniors' home. Everyone knows everyone, and they have done for most of their lives. Some have families that stay in touch, and for others, well, any visitors are welcome and cherished. Even for those whose memories are going, the music of caroling reaches to depths of the heart and stirs reminiscences. When you watch them, right, it's just, you can't kind of put your head down and just their facial expression. The community, they expect us to, to come to their homes and, and carol for them. So you have you know, the tears and of joy and remembrance and the hugs and thank you for coming. To save us with his love and in this rejoice. In the car, there's plenty of time to tell stories. Just like this one time back in the day when I was, I only had two or three cows, right? Two or three. Yeah. 
and this one short horn cow, she had her, her baby. And of course, it's 40 below. And it's like, oh my God. Found the baby in the snow. So, I'm, so I'm, I gotta carry this baby to the barn, right? And this cow, she's got these big horns and, and she's kind of not liking it, but she understands, you know, I'm doing something good, right? Cause her baby's gonna freeze to death, right? Got the hair dryer, eventually warmed them up. It was just fine. So the day comes. <laughs> Time to sell them, right? Uh -huh. I weaned them. It's like 900 pounds, right? And just like a dummy, I'm at the auction mart. I take the front row. I'm sitting there. And this calf comes. He comes straight to me. He's, he's standing right there looking at me. And oh, I'm telling you, I could have cried. But it's like, uh, sorry. <laughs> At Kamiko and Romans, generations of families come together to continue the tradition of listening to the carolers. Ginny Lou has captured the hearts of all of us, not only because she's cute, but because she's the only baby in the parish. Caterpillar. You got something hot here? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle, bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey. <laughs> With farms getting larger and more mechanized, fewer young families are staying on the land. But Ginny Lou will soon have a sister. The days are so short this time of year, and night falls quickly. Inside, the cars become insular bubbles in the night. So Jerry, I was wondering, now with the furnace problem that we have in the church. The big thing uh, is going to be the costly expense of, of getting the old one out oh. and getting this new one in. Okay. It is a terrific fundraiser for for us and for anybody that would want to do it. And like we talked before, the people are more than happy to receive us and, and welcome us. And Most times the carolers outnumber the residents, but the rewards are more than just goodwill. At Pauline's, the baking is exceptional, and it's liberally spiced with an array of beverages. The Ukrainians are so religious that even when they drink, they remember God. They say, Nazdorovia, to your health, or die Bozhe, to God. Really? Yeah. So you okay, Charlie. Okay, I would, I would like to propose a toast to our forefathers, to our forefathers. To our forefathers. To our forefathers. And mothers, yes. To their mammoths. Oh. To the ones that are carrying on. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Thank you, Pauline. Pauline, what do you remember about caroling when you were young? I remember the priest coming to bless the houses, the house. That I remember. Mm -hmm. And then when I got married, um, I think for 25 years, every year, John and I went caroling. It is. How's the vodka? Excellent. Thank you for coming. 
And Thank you. Lunches. Enjoyed your visit, and uh, we look forward that we're around yeah. next year to you meet best. you again. Yes. The worst is when you go the following year, and you know they're not with us anymore. Several years ago, on this stretch of highway, Shirley Kunick died in a car accident, and her loss touched everyone keenly. Going to Carol at her home just isn't the same as it was. It's at times like this that she's remembered and missed. And she did all the auditing or financial statements, everything, and all the church groups and ladies' league. And all the work at home in the morning, I used to laugh at her because I say she had a lights on her snow shovel because she'd be shoveling before light. <laughs> she made her mark and she will forever be remembered and yeah. it's, it's a tough thing but it happens and Yes, yes. And it's a I, big adjustment, isn't I it? I really never talk much about it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, for Lori, for letting us into your house and sharing this Christmas and uh, allowing us and putting up with our singing. <laughs> yes. And, uh, Bojadai. Yeah. Bojadai. 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 <laughs> to a good year and yes. a healthy, happy. Yes. Happy one coming up. Yes, that's right. The evening wears on and lots of good cheer is consumed. The carolers get merry. The designated driver is the hero, and the singing becomes more passionate, if perhaps a bit less tuneful. There's something wonderful about little rural communities. People learn to live with each other, regardless of their diversities. Over the years, political views soften, cultural differences meld like good cooking, and philosophies embrace each other. Because here, everyone knows everyone. And during high holidays like Christmas, there's no better way to harmonize than through singing. We've gone till 12 o'clock midnight when we, when we were saying, yes, we're still caroling and then having the last shot or two. And during this Christmas season and for the new year, we wish good health, happiness and peace to you, Dennis and Jean and all of your family. Veselik Sviat. Christ is born. Let us glorify him. Happy New Year! Yes, happy Yosef Gibu Potishai, Ove Vate Pomahai.